All right, our friends, we're gonna do another Pokemon today, aren't we, Chuckers? Yeah. Which one are we gonna do? Charizard. <sighs> Got your marker. <laughs> we always hope that you guys follow along with us. You got something to draw with? We're gonna use regular paper, right? Out of our printer, right? Printer paper. Printer paper. It's eight and a half by eleven, and we're using a sharpie, so we have two sheets of paper, right? Mm -hmm. And that's so that it protects our table, so that it, the marker doesn't go through. If you're using a pencil, you don't really need two sheets. Just if you use a marker. Okay. All right, dude, you ready? Yeah. Let's start with his face, okay? First step, we're gonna start with his, he's got like horns that come out, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna draw his horns and his head that comes down. Uh, we're gonna do it right in the middle of the paper towards the top. Here we go. So we're gonna do a little shape like that. And that's gonna be for the start of his horn and then the side of his cheek. Good. Okay, and then we're gonna curl around and do his jaw that comes out. Good job. Okay, let's come back up here and we'll do his horn, his first horn. So we're gonna curl around and then we'll come back down. Good, and then come all the way down, kind of where we started curling down. Yeah, good job. Okay, now we're gonna curl back up and do his other horn on the other side. Good, now we're gonna curl back around and we're gonna do his, finish that side of his horn. I got a little thin. And then we're gonna come down into his eye. Scoop. Good, okay, now let's come back up and we'll do the rest of his mouth. We're gonna come around, come out, so that we're kind of equal on both sides. There we go, and then this one can be a little bit longer if we need to. And then we'll connect them with a V. Come down to a little point and then back up. Yeah, good job. All right, let's finish this I over here. So we're going to do a little kind of V that comes down and back out. Good. And then we're going to come back over to this side and we're going to do the top of his eye that comes down. Good. Then we'll do an L shape right there. Good. Okay, now let's do the inside of his eye, his pupils. We'll do a curve line there. Okay, and then we can do it inside. We can do another one, but fill it in just a little bit. Good job. It kind of gets small in there, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, so we can do his little uh, eyebrow that comes over the top of his eye. It's not really an eyebrow. I think it's just a yeah, wrinkle. A wrinkle. That's a better way to describe it, yeah. Okay, and then let's do his mouth. So we come in here, and we'll do his little mouth. Good. And then we'll do his nostril over here, so the top of his nostril. And then we'll do a little mark inside. There we go. And then we can put another little mark over there for his other nostril. Good. And we can fill in his pupil on the other in the other eye. Good job. All right. He looks awesome, huh? Yeah. We finished his head. Let's do his neck. Okay. So we're going to come back over here. So right under his cheek, we'll come down here and we're going to do his neck that comes down, out, and then back in. It looks like a big J, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Backwards J, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he looks like a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Good, and then I kind of made, so this little loop out here came, came a little wider than yours. Yours was a little smaller hook. This is going to be his belly, and he's kind of pear-shaped, so we want the bottom to look a little more pear. There you go. And that could probably come even a little more if you want. Is that? Good, yeah. All right, now we're going to come back up and draw the other side of his, of his neck, and it's going to come out and pear out like... Like we were saying, it's going to make kind of a raindrop body shape. And so we want to stop up here so we can do a shoulder. Okay? We're going to move these. These colored pencils are kind of getting in the way, huh? Mm -hmm. Let's move them off to the side. Okay. Now let's do a shoulder. So we'll do a, a 
C shape. Good. And then we'll have his arm coming out just a little bit. He's going to have his claws sticking out. And then we're going to draw the underside of his arm and his armpit. Good job. You know what I forgot? We need to put a tooth up here, huh? A little tooth coming out of his mouth. A little U shape. Good job. Okay, let's do the rest of his arm. So we're going to draw, on this side, we're going to draw his forearm coming up. Okay, so it's a little S line. And then this side, we'll draw this side too so that you can see where this one's going. Now that's going to come up like that. Right next to it. Good, and then, and then you want it, yeah, it's okay. He's going to have a bony elbow, huh? <laughs> so come up and then all the way up to so that both those lines are equal. Good job. All right, let's do his claws, okay? So we're going to do we're gonna do three Vs, all right? We're going to space them out. So we're going to do one V right here, and that's going to be his thumb. And then we'll do another V up here, and that's his finger. Okay, and then we'll do another V on this side. And that's gonna be his little finger, okay? And then we'll curl or curve and connect the top of his talons. They're floating talons. They're floating magical talons. <laughs> All right, let's make them so they're not floating. <laughs> so we're gonna start over here on this talon and we're gonna connect it back into his arm, okay? Charizard. I know you did. We Why? should show that, huh? Okay, <laughs> and you did it all by yourself. You used that cool book that you have, huh? And you just yeah. looked at it. Okay, and then we'll do a little U and connect the two. There you go. And then we'll connect these two over here. Okay, and then we'll come back over here and we'll connect his little finger back into his hand. Isn't that awesome? Mm-hmm. Good job. And then we can kind of, we could put a little curve right in the middle. And that looks like, you know, the wrinkles inside your hand. Okay, let's go over here and we'll do this other arm. Okay? okay. So we do his other shoulder, a little bump. Looks like the other side. Good. And then a line that comes down. And then we're drawing the same part over here, right? Mm -hmm. And then this one's going to come down too. Okay. And then we're going to bend up but we're not gonna bend up as much as this one. We're gonna just bend out a little bit and then we'll bring this one also with it. Good, okay. All right, let's do those V's again. So we'll do a V for his thumb. And then we can kind of position these V's a little different than the other one. We'll do another V the same direction and then we'll do another one over here like that. Let's see how those are kind of pointing all in the same direction. Okay, now let's curve and connect them. Good, and then we'll connect it back into the into his arms so that they're not floating. Good, and then another one over here. Connect that one. Good, and then this one, last one. Good job. Now we'll do just a little line right there and then a, a round curve line that direction. Good. Okay, let's do the same thing. We'll put a little wrinkle inside his hand. That was easy, huh? That wasn't too hard. Okay, now let's finish the rest of his body. So we're gonna have his we're gonna have his leg down here. So we're gonna work on that next. Do a big curve line right here, and this is gonna be for his knee. All right, and then we're gonna imagine his neckline going through his arm, coming out over here, and we'll come down just a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna we're gonna come all the way out and then back in towards where this this line is. Yeah, good job. All right, now let's finish his foot. So we're gonna do we could do the three V's again. But let's start by building his foot a little bit more. So we'll put a line down on this side and a line out on this side. Good. Okay, and then we can just do a little curl and then we'll do a V. 
Okay, and then let's connect it. Oh, cur curve it. Connect the V. There we go. Good, and then we'll do a little line. And then another V. And then connect it. And then we'll do another line and then do the last V and then connect it. Good, and if we go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yes, you guys can always pause the video and then finish the part that we did if we go too fast and then uh, start the video back up. So I put two little wrinkles right there. Okay, now let's jump over here and let's do his other leg, okay? okay. So we're gonna come across over here to this side, do a curved line that comes out and back in. Good, and then we'll have another line that comes out. We don't want to connect those two because we're going to do his foot right here and then we're going to do and then it comes out and then we're going to do his heel on his foot keep going good job man <laughs> okay good and then we'll come back down like that and then they should be kind of equal Good job. That's getting it. It's a little thick, but that's okay. We'll practice, huh? So let's do, this time, let's just do a W and, and connect these two lines. And I think that'll make it a little easier. So we're going to curve the W down a little. And it's a crazy W, huh? Mm -hmm. It's got an extra bump. Or it's an upside down W. There we go. Okay, and then we'll connect his talons. So we'll do a curve line there. Another curve line. And then the last curve line. Yeah, that looks awesome. Okay, and then we can do another little wrinkle right there so that it looks similar to the other side. Cool, huh? Yeah. Dude, we're almost done, man. Okay, let's do this belly line. All right, so we're going to start up here, do a big upside down U and into his leg. Good. Hey, now let's do his wings, man, the cool part. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a little bump just right here coming out of his shoulder. And we're going to do a lack up, almost over his finger, top of his finger, straight above his finger. And then we'll bend up. And we might run out of room, but that's okay. We'll try and fit it in. So now we're almost up to his head. And we're going to bend out just a little bit and then curl back in. Good. Okay, now let's come down and do the rest of his wings. So we'll come out, down, diagonally. And then we'll come back down, almost to his elbow. Good. Okay, now let's do the inside of his wing. So we'll come up, and we're going to kind of run parallel to that line that we just did. Up, curve around. Okay, now when we come down to this side, we're going to get a little closer and make it look like it's getting thinner when it comes down here. And then we'll curl in. Yeah. yeah, you did it. Good job. Okay, now let's do the, the connecting part, the inside of his wing. So we'll curl up to his arm. And then we'll, we can do another curve. Well, let's just come out right there. And then we'll curve all the way over to this side. So I imagine that curve coming through his arm and then it came out over there and then do another U. Good job. All right, now let's do two lines. One, two. For the, and those are the wrinkles in his wings, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's do the other wing. All right, we're gonna do a little bump coming out of his shoulder and we're gonna curl up and this one's a little more bumpy, huh? And we'll do another yeah. another curl. And then we'll do that same little horn shape that we had over here. That almost looks like the same horn on his head, too. Good. Okay, and then we'll come down. Another down diagonally. And then we'll do another one in. Good. Okay, now let's go back over here and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to draw a parallel to that line that we just did. Come around. 
over to this side. Good. Are you concentrating? Yeah. <laughs> All right. He looks awesome. We got to finish this wing. We'll do a curve line here. Good. And then we'll do another curve line that just comes over here. Oh, yours, your wing's a little bit different, huh? Yeah. And that's totally cool. So I would just do another bump that connects to there. Yeah, good job. Okay, and then let's do two more lines on this side for the wrinkles in his wings. All right, what are we missing, dude? Um, his tail. Yeah, <laughs> let's get that in there. Okay, we're going to draw a part of his tail underneath his body. And then we're gonna imagine it coming over here, so past his leg and curling up right to there. Good, and then we'll come back over here and we want to, we're gonna start thin, but then we're gonna get thicker as we come down. So here we go. We're gonna curve down like that into his body. See how it starts thin and then it gets wider as it gets into his body. And then let's do the fire. Okay. So we're, this is just going to be kind of a wiggly line, comes out of his tail, and then we'll do another wiggly line over on this side. Good. And you're, so I'm, I have the wing kind of covering his fire. So what you can do is just come back up and curl into his wing. Yeah, and then just kind of go wiggly into his wing. So it looks like fire. Yeah. Okay, now do this side, and you can kind of wiggle back up into there. Sure. Yeah, keep going. You did it, man. That's awesome. So we're going to, we're not going to color, we're not going to draw anything else inside the fire. We're going to use red and yellow to, to make that look even better. Okay. All right, you ready to color them though? Yeah. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, dude, we got our colors all picked out and we got some awesome colors. We got white, gray, we got red and yellow that we're gonna use for the fire. Then we got kind of this, this uh, it's still a light yellow, but it's not as bright. We're gonna use that for his belly. Then we've got a light and a dark blue-green. These are just blue-green colors. One's called aquamarine, the other one's called peacock blue. And we're gonna use those for his wings and his eye. And then we're gonna use, uh, this is an orange, what is this called, gold something? Uh, gold, golden rod, and this one is called uh, yellowed orange. And if our friends don't have these, you can just use any color that kind of looks like it, and it's still going to turn out super awesome. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do a lot of fast forwarding. We're going to start with this orange. We're going to color all of the orange parts. We're going to actually do the whole thing, and then we'll pause it, and our friends can kind of catch up. Okay. Cool? Yeah. All right, let's do it right uh, now. Yeah. Hey, dude, before we color anymore, there's one line that we kind of left out, and it's right here on his tail. I'm going to draw that in really quick so that we can keep going. So this part up here is going to be orange, and then this part down here is going to be yellow. So it's just another curved line that comes off of his tail and connects back into his body. Cool? Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Okay. Cool, dude, man, he turned out awesome. Okay, so our art friends can pause it right now, okay? So they can look at their drawings and then copy what we did. So we used the light blue-green on his wings, we used orange on his body, and then we used uh, the yellow, and we, we actually did this very lightly. We didn't press very hard on his belly. And then we did uh, red for the outside of the fire and then yellow on the inside of the fire. Then we also did the light uh, blue-green inside his eyes, okay? Okay. So they can pause the video right now and then catch up and then we're gonna keep going. Cool? Yeah. All right, so now we're going to take the dark orange that we have and we're gonna add the shadows. So we're not gonna do any blending. This is just gonna be a straight shadow. So we're gonna do a line right here under his neck and then we're gonna color in between his head and that line 
so that it looks darker, like there's a cast shadow underneath his head. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. And that makes it instantly look like his head is kind of further out than his neck. It looks more 3D, huh? Mm -hmm. And if we had a darker orange, we could probably try and get that a little bit darker under there, but I think that's cool. All right, then we're gonna do another shadow in his arm, in his hand, inside his hand. And if this doesn't, this might not show up on the video very well, but maybe we could try a darker color while you're trying this one. So we'll do a little shadow right here on the inside of his hand and the inside of his hand here. And then we're also gonna come down here and do a shadow on his tail. So the bottom part of the orange on his tail. Then we can also come down here and we'll do a shadow on the side of his foot and the inside of his leg right here. So we'll do a line there and then color everything on the inside of that the dark orange. Cool? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll fast forward while you do yours, okay? okay? There you go. Perfect job, dude. Okay, now we're gonna use the same yellow that we did on his belly. And remember how we just, we did lightly, we did a light layer on his belly, right? Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna do the shadow with the same color, but we're gonna do, a, a this is a little bit different. So the orange, we used a darker orange. This time we're using the same yellow but we're gonna press harder. So I'm gonna draw a line that comes over here under his, from this leg over to this leg and just kind of a curved line that matches the bottom of his belly. And then we'll do it, we'll press a lot harder below that line like that and see how that kind of does the same thing that we did on his legs or with the orange, but we're using the same color. We're not using a darker yellow. Pretty neat, huh? Mm -hmm. It's another little trick. And then what we're gonna do after that, and then we'll come back up here and we'll blend his belly so it looks more smooth and doesn't have that texture. Okay, now we're gonna add a shadow to his wings. So we're gonna use the darker blue-green and we're gonna do similar to what we did on the orange. We're using a dark, we used a darker orange here. We use a darker blue here on his wings. Okay, so we got a line. It's going to come up and it's going to follow his the orange part of his wing. Come up here and then we're going to come down on this side over here. So hopefully that shows up on the camera. So we've got this, this line in here and then we're going to fill in everything in between. And this should look darker. So we're going to press really hard so that we can make it solid. And then it'll look like a shadow underneath his wing in the inside of his wing. Like that. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Hey, now we're gonna do this, we'll do the same thing on this side and then I'll give it to you and you can do yours. Cool, dude. All right, the last step, we're gonna get the gray and this is gonna help if, if your pencil is sharp. So we wanna make sure that you have a little point on the end and that's because we're gonna do the small little details and this may not show up in the video, but we're gonna just on the right side of his fingernail, we're gonna add a little shadow on each of each of his talons, okay? okay? And then on this side, we'll do on the bottom of this talon, okay? So on the it's more on the left side on that. And then we'll do it over here, we'll do the same. Put it on the right side, little talons. And then down here on his toes, toenails, we'll do it on the left side so it looks like it's on the bottom. And on this side, we'll do it on the right. Again, so it looks like it's on the bottom of its toenails. Cool? Mm -hmm. Want to do it to yours? Yeah. Dude, good job, man. You did such an awesome job on your Charizard. Give me five. Mom is going to freak out when she sees that Charizard. Yeah. I promise, man. She's going to go nuts. You did a really good job. What was your favorite part? The whole thing. The whole thing? That was my favorite part too. And you know what? Do ours look the same? Mm -mm. No, they don't. They look a little different, don't they? Yeah. But what's the most important thing? To have fun. Yeah. It's not important that your drawings look exactly like ours, right? Mm -hmm. But remember that the most important thing is to have fun. It's okay if your drawing looks a little different than ours. And the important thing also is to practice, right? Yeah. And the second time you do it, I promise it'll look better than the first time, right? Mm -hmm. We should practice too, shouldn't we? Yeah. Yes, we should. We hope you guys had fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.